I'm Ken Ram, and I'm the Still Image Program Officer at the Smithsonian's Digitization Program Office. Our office's primary responsibility is to support the Smithsonian's museums, archives, libraries, and research centers in their efforts to digitize their vast and varied collections. One of the ways we do this is through our Rapid Capture Pilot Projects. Rapid Capture Pilot Projects are comprehensive, end-to-end -end digitization workflows. Rapid Capture workflows follow a museum object from its shelf in permanent storage all the way to its ultimate destination as a virtual object online, available for access by the public. In normal Rapid Capture workflows, it's possible for an object to go from permanent storage where it hasn't been seen by the public in years, decades, or perhaps even ever, to publicly accessible Smithsonian websites in as little as a few hours. And because Rapid Capture workflows are fine-tuned and continuously optimized at every step of the way, depending on the collection object type, high-quality digital assets can be generated at throughput rates of 150 objects a day to 700 objects and upwards to 6,000 objects per day. Let's take a peek behind the scenes of a Rapid Capture pilot project to see just how this is accomplished. Rapid Capture workflows start at an object's permanent storage location and proceeds through a series of seven stations along the workflow path. The object is selected by trained object handlers and moved in batches from permanent storage to a pre-digitization staging area. Standard object handling protocols are strictly adhered to. Object movement is done methodically and safely. From the staging area, handlers move the object to the capture station. Before the first image is taken each day, we go through the quality control process. The quality control process starts with ensuring the camera sensor is parallel to the test target. We do this using a specially designed mirror system. Once aligned, a photograph is taken of the test target. From there, the test image is loaded into the quality control workstation where it's analyzed for resolution, color accuracy, and other image quality elements. Once quality control is complete, the first object of the day is ready to be photographed. Working in close cooperation with the digital photographer, the handler orients the object for the best possible image. At this point, the object's collection record ID is entered as the newly created image's file name and or embedded in the image file's metadata. Once the object capture is complete, the object handler returns the object to the staging area where it will eventually be returned in permanent storage. In the meantime, the rapid capture workflow really begins to pick up speed as the high resolution digital version of the object is transferred over high speed networks from the capture station to the post processing station. At the post processing station, a minimal amount of processing is applied to the digital image. The post processing station is also where image derivatives such as TIFFs and JPEGs are generated from the raw image data that comes from the camera sensor. Once post-processing is complete, batches of digital images are transferred again over high-speed networks to the unit's digital asset manager for upload into the Smithsonian's Digital Asset Management System, or DAMS. DAMS is the Smithsonian's industrial strength, fault-tolerant storage and backup system for digital files. The digital catalog record is stored in the unit's collections management system, or CMS. The CMS contains in-depth information about the object. The museum's CMS is the authoritative source for information on any given object in the collection. Once the association between the dams and the collections management system has been completed, the digital object, enriched with good catalog record data, is ready for use on external facing public websites. A virtual museum goer can explore collections like they've never been able to before. They can click on an object to read about its history and its significance, as well as click on the object's thumbnail to view it in high resolution, and zoom in at even higher resolutions to see the beautiful details that make these objects unique. Access to passionate researchers and the inquisitive public are the ultimate benefits of efficient end-to-end -end comprehensive digitization workflows.